Okay, today we're going to play with the third RAD robot, the RAD2.SE. And uh, I think it was basically FEO Schwartz wanted a special color so they could charge more money for it. And we'll look at the box here in a minute, but I'm going to take a glance right now. $179 is how much they wanted for their custom translucent color RAD. I'm sure I didn't pay that. The uh, instruction book is going to be exactly the same. Here's the darts, and they're in the same translucent blue color as the one that I showed in the original RAD robot. This one up here. So, there's no point opening up something that's been sealed. This robot has never been turned on. We're, we're witnessing this together. It has never been powered up. So, let's take a look at the bottom. I'm looking at the date. Again, Toy Max 1999, so the same year as the Rad 2. The SE was claimed to come out. You can see it's translucent. If you had a bright light, you could see the uh, gutty works in there. You can almost see through the uh, chest cavity. Get some light in there. Uh, spring loaded darts again. Watch uh, video number one if you want to see how that works. Did I point out the. Uh, main on off switch on the bottom and the speed selector let's make sure that's set on low because as we found out in the first two videos the rechargeable 6 volt battery they want you to buy that I have is like 20 or 22 years old doesn't seem to be cranking out the old current this is the pack that they expected you to buy the charger and the special nightcad battery this is the one that they wanted you to buy for the very original uh, RAD, before the RAD 2. You can tell by the head, since they all have different heads. And you have a tray, as you do with all of them, that you can put on this and carry things. You have the remote control, and again, it's in a nice see-through translucent blue plastic. I have my dollar store 9-volt battery in there. Fire, shift, arms open, arms close, forward. You got your left and right treads basically forward and reverse. Your talk button, there's the microphone. Waist up, waist down, basically that means bow. Main on off switch for the transmitter. And the battery I've got sitting in the charger just to try and give it a, a chance. It's only been five minutes since I shot the last video, so it doesn't give it much of a chance. But this is the the battery, and, and just goes right. Is that in camera? If not, I'll pick it up. Just goes right in here like this. Like Checking systems. Waist down. Waist up. Arms closing. Arms opening. Okay, it looks like it made it through its system check. Okay, let's uh, let's pretend like we were gonna fire some rockets. Can you see the chest thing turning on the camera? Hopefully, if you want to actually see the rockets fire, go back and watch the original rad one, where I actually take them out of the package and load them in. Um, what do we got? Arms open and close. Well, we've seen them test them, but let's do it ourselves. I'm going to push the arms close button. Okay, let's open them up. Let's bend at the waist. Waist up, waist down. Let's go waist down all the way to the floor. So that's telling you it's as far down as it's going to go. Sounds like the voice is a little bit different than in the other rad. That's also the only way you can steer your missiles up and down. And now we're going to try the old drive, and that's what sucks the most current. I'm going to try one motor at a time. Oops, I hit the arm button. Wrong thread. Let's try this thread. Let's try them both. Hey, look at that. 
Let's uh, spin. I guess putting it on the old battery charger did help. Uh oh, made a weird sound. What happened? We haven't tried the talk. Oh, now this one does have a lot more gain than the other one, so I'm getting feedback. I'm going to move even further away. And also, it doesn't making all the static noise that the others made. Hello, hello, Tokyo. Yes, yes, thank you. So there are some differences in this uh, rad version. I'm going to switch that off. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Because you'll find some of this interesting. Again, the instruction manual, since it has the same functions, is going to be very similar to the one that I covered in the RAD 1, the first RAD. Here is the uh, FAO Schwartz sticker. The astronomical price that they wanted for this exclusive color they call Ice Blue Tech. Let's get the uh, overall top of the box where the price sticker was. Right there. Nineteen ninety-nine. So what's that? It's twenty-three years ago. This one is running on a different frequency. The others were in the uh, twenty, twenty-seven, whatever it was, megahertz. Twenty-seven megahertz. Right. So that's why this one didn't have so much static out here. This one's at forty-nine megahertz, and uh, the LED lighting out here must uh, put static into the twenty-seven megahertz range. So that explains why. It's functioning better, and why there was less static it is on a different frequency. Very cool. Not a hundred and seventy-nine dollars cool, but very cool. So I don't think there's anything left to demonstrate on this robot that we haven't covered in the original Rad, the Rad 2. And now we have the RAD 2 SE Special Edition. Next will be coming the RAD 3, the smallest of the RAD robots.